What is the meaning of the verb head for? When you head for a certain location, you move toward it. When you are headed for or are heading for a certain location. You are planning to go there or you have stopped and will resume going there. Head toward is the same as head for. Tomorrow we're going to leave Des Moines and head for California. What is the meaning of the verb ask out? When you ask people out, you ask them to go with you to a place. Of entertainment in order to have fun and spend time together. Being asked out by Tom was quite a surprise to Judy. What is the meaning of the verb hear about? When you hear and learn information about someone or something, you hear about it. Have you heard about the new Thai restaurant downtown? What is the meaning of the verb pile up? When things increase in number and start to form a pile, they pile up. When people add things to a pile, they pile them up. Leaves up in the driveway and burn them. What is the meaning of the verb? Look at When you focus your eyes on people or things, you look at them. Look at me when I talk to you.
What is the meaning of the verb beef up? When you beef up security or some other arrangement to prevent or deal with a problem? You make this arrangement stronger. The coach is planning to beef the defense up. What is the meaning of the verb screw up informal? When people make a mistake that causes a problem for you, they screw you up. The travel agent forgot to reconfirm my flight, and it really screwed me up. What is the meaning of the verb work out? When a situation works out a certain way, it happens that way. When a situation does not work out, it is not satisfactory. She said that living with her in-laws wasn't working out very well. What is the meaning of the verb take out informal? When you take people out, you kill them. The hitman took Vito out with a shotgun blast to the head. What is the meaning of the verb put on? When you place something on or apply something to another surface, you put it on. Jerry put too much fertilizer on his lawn, and now he has to cut it twice a week. What is the meaning of the verb blow out, of?
when something is moved outward away from where it was by an explosion or a very strong wind. It is blown out or blown out of where it was before. The force of the explosion blew all the windows out. What is the meaning of the verb come on? When a television or radio program comes on, it begins. Do you know when the news will come on? What is the meaning of the verb step on? When you step on something, you place your foot on it. Sam stepped on a cockroach. What is the meaning of the verb work out? When you exercise in order to improve your health or physical appearance, you work out. I need to start working out again. What is the meaning of the verb leave behind? When you leave something or someone behind. You do not take them with you because you forgot or because you cannot or do not want to take them. We packed too much luggage for our trip, so we had to leave some things behind. What is the meaning of the verb catch up, with? When you move faster and reach the same level or place as people who had been. Moving faster or doing better than you were, you catch up or catch up with them.
After missing several weeks of class, Raquel is so far behind that she'll never catch up. What is the meaning of the verb back off? When you move away from danger or a person you are arguing or fighting with. In order to avoid injury or a more serious fight or argument, you back off. When you tell people to back off. You are warning them that you are becoming angry and that a fight or argument is likely. Tom backed off when he saw that Jake had a gun. What is the meaning of the verb knock out? When you knock people out, you hit them hard enough to cause them to lose consciousness. When people are knocked out. They are hit by someone or something hard enough to cause them to lose consciousness. David fell and hit his head on the sidewalk so hard that it knocked him out. What is the meaning of the verb get out, to? When you go to a place that is west of where you are or to a place outside a large city. You get out or get out to that place. I told my friend in New York, if you ever get out to California, please visit me. What is the meaning of the verb payback, for? When you pay people back or pay people back for something bad they have done to you. You do something bad to them.
I'll pay that guy back for the terrible things he's done to me if it takes the rest of my life. What is the meaning of the verb hold out? When a supply of something is enough for your needs, the supply holds out. This is all the money I have, so it has to hold out until I get paid again. What is the meaning of the verb turn around? When you turn around, you move a vehicle or your body so that it faces the opposite direction. When you turn something around, you move it so that it faces the opposite direction. You should turn this house plant around so that the other side can get some light. What is the meaning of the verb empty out? When you completely remove the contents of a space or container, you empty it out. After we empty this room out, we can start painting. What is the meaning of the verb wear off? When the surface of something is gradually removed by friction or exposure to the elements so that what is beneath the surface is exposed, the surface wears off. You could see the wood where the paint had worn off. What is the meaning of the verb take out on? When you take something out on people, you unfairly criticize or punish them because you are angry about something that has occurred or about something that someone else has done.
Hey. It's not my fault you got a speeding ticket. Why are you taking it out on me? What is the meaning of the verb freak out informal? When you freak out, you become very upset or very angry. When you freak other people out, you cause them to become very upset or very angry. I wish you would take that Halloween mask off you're freaking me out. What is the meaning of the verb go around? When you go around in a certain condition or go around doing something. You go to various places and allow other people see you. Are you going to go around all day wearing that stupid hat? What is the meaning of the verb keep up, with? When you are in a group that is studying, working, and so on. and you are able to learn or work at the same rate as the others, you keep up or keep up with the group. Fall behind is the opposite of keep up. The assembly line was going so fast that no one could keep up. What is the meaning of the verb go over, to? When you go to someone's house for a visit, you go over or go over to that person's house. Have you gone over to Nicole's house to see her new baby yet? What is the meaning of the verb cover up?
When you cover something completely, you cover it up. Cover this stuff up I don't want anyone to see it. What is the meaning of the verb fight back? When you fight back, you fight, either physically or with words. Someone or something that attacked you first. After being accused of corruption, the senator said she would fight back and prove her innocence. What is the meaning of the verb put out? When you are put out by people, you are annoyed by something they have said or done. I was really put out by having to take a taxi to work because Mike hadn't returned my car. What is the meaning of the verb go by? When you go by a policy or standard. You use it as a reference or a guide in making decisions and determining your behavior. When you go by the book, you follow rules, policies, or laws exactly. Jim told me to do one thing, and Tom told me to do another. But since Tom is the boss, I'm going to go by what he says. What is the meaning of the verb leave out? When you leave people or things out, you accidentally or deliberately do not include them in a group. Tell me the entire story from beginning to end. Don't leave anything out.
What is the meaning of the verb open up? When you open a room or building up, you unlock or open the doors so that people can enter. The office closes at 12 o'clock for lunch and opens back up at 1 o'clock. What is the meaning of the verb go away, to? When you leave your home and live temporarily at another place, such as a school, you go away to that place. Jane didn't go away to school, she went to a school near her home. What is the meaning of the verb hang on informal? When you hang on, you wait for a short time. Hold on is the same as hang on. Judy's coming to the phone now can you hang on? What is the meaning of the verb fill in, for? When you temporarily do someone else's job, you fill in for that person. The regular bartender is on vacation, so Todd is filling in. What is the meaning of the verb get over? When something happens that surprises you or makes you angry. And you cannot stop thinking about it, you cannot get over it. L can't get over seeing my ex-wife with her new husband. What is the meaning of the verb breakthrough?
when you cannot do something because of a problem and you find a way to solve or eliminate the problem, you break through. After the problem of tissue rejection is broken through, organ transplants will become more common. What is the meaning of the verb get up? When you change from a sitting or lying position to a standing position, you get up. Stand up is similar to get up. After he hit me, I got right up and hit him back. What is the meaning of the verb blow up? When you make a picture or photograph larger, you blow it up. When you blow this photo of the car up, you can make out the license plate number. What is the meaning of the verb come out, for in favor of I against? When people with authority and influence come out for or come out in favor of people or things. They publicly announce support for them. When people with authority and influence come out against people or things. They publicly announce opposition to them. The senator from North Carolina came out against the tobacco legislation. What is the meaning of the verb pay off? When something you do pays off, it is successful and is worth the effort you made. Medical school is a lot of hard work, but it'll pay off someday.
What is the meaning of the verb live with? When you live with a disease or other problem, you endure or put up with it? T can't change the situation, so I'll just have to learn to live with it. What is the meaning of the verb come through? When you come through a difficult or dangerous experience, you survive it. Coming through the earthquake alive was a miracle. What is the meaning of the verb turn into? When something turns into something else, it becomes that thing. It's amazing that this small seed can turn into a huge tree. What is the meaning of the verb look up? When you get information from a reference book. Such as a word from a dictionary or a telephone number from a telephone book. You look the word or number up. I looked up his number, but it's not in the phone book. What is the meaning of the verb hang around informal? When you hang around or hang around doing something. You stay in a place without a purpose for being there or because you are waiting for someone or something. Bob's been hanging around the house all day. Doesn't he have anything to do? What is the meaning of the verb back up?
when you support people in a conflict or a confrontation, you back them up. When you support people by doing some work or a difficult assignment, you back them up. Jerry is the bar's main bartender, and Tanya backs him up when it gets busy. What is the meaning of the verb fall off? When people or things drop to a lower level from a higher place, they fall off the place where they were. Be careful you don't fall off your bicycle. What is the meaning of the verb step on? When you step on something, you place your foot on it. If the carpenter steps on a nail, she'll have to go to the hospital for a tetanus shot. What is the meaning of the verb switch off? When you switch off an electrical or mechanical device. You change the controls to stop it from producing or doing something. Turn off is similar to switch off. Switch on is the opposite of switch off. I switched the engine off and got out of the car. What is the meaning of the verb get to? When you get to something that you want or need to do, you find the time to do it. When you get to work, you start working. You've wasted the entire morning. When are you going to get to work?
What is the meaning of the verb come up? When a new topic is introduced into a conversation, it comes up. We were discussing possible candidates to manage the new office, and your name came up. What is the meaning of the verb sneak out, of? When you leave a place without anyone seeing or hearing you, you sneak out or sneak out of the place. The principal caught me sneaking out of my chemistry class. What is the meaning of the verb call in? When you request the help of people or of an organization with more experience. Power, or knowledge to help with a problem or difficult project, you call them in. When the local police couldn't handle the riot, the National Guard was called in. What is the meaning of the verb take over, for? When you start to do a job or some work that other people are doing in order to allow them to. Take a break or because the previous shift has ended and a new shift has begun, you take over. When you assume an obligation or accept responsibility from someone, you take it over. When Linda was sick she couldn't care for her children. So her sister took over for her until she was well again. What is the meaning of the verb plan for? When you make preparations for something in the future, you plan for it.
it's never too early to start planning for retirement. What is the meaning of the verb break up? When you break up a fight, you stop the fight. Two students were fighting, and the teacher broke them up. What is the meaning of the verb back up? When you walk backward, you back up. When you drive a vehicle in reverse, you back up or back the vehicle up. The fire was so hot that we had to back up. What is the meaning of the verb look down on? When you look down on people, you consider them to be less intelligent. Less educated, or from a lower level of society than you. Looking down on people because of things they have no control over is stupid. What is the meaning of the verb hold on, to? When you hold on or hold on to people. You hold them tightly to protect them or to prevent them from leaving. When you hold on or hold on to things. You hold them tightly to protect them or to prevent them from being taken. We were holding on to each other as the tornado passed. What is the meaning of the verb carry on, with? When you carry on, carry on with an activity.
or carry on doing an activity, you continue it or continue doing it. She plans to carry on with her career after the baby is born. What is the meaning of the verb fall for? When you suddenly feel a strong attraction to someone or something, you fall for that person or thing. When I saw this house, I fell for it immediately, and I made an offer the same day. What is the meaning of the verb do without? When you do without something, you continue living or working without. Something that you want or need because it is not possible or available. Washing your hair every day is something you have to do without when you go camping. What is the meaning of the verb come on, to, informal? When you come on to people, you approach them and try to interest them in romance or sex. Toad came on to Judy at the party, and she told him to get lost. What is the meaning of the verb clear up? When clouds in the sky go away, the weather clears up. Unless it clears up, we'll have to cancel the picnic. What is the meaning of the verb come out, of? When people or things leave a place, room, or house that you are not in, they come out of it.
Susie's friend came to the door and asked her to come out and play. What is the meaning of the verb ask for? When you say that people are asking for something or asking for it, you mean that they are doing or saying something that is likely to result in punishment or a negative consequence. I'm warning you if you keep doing that, you're asking for trouble. What is the meaning of the verb stick with? When you stick with a habit, plan, or type of work, you continue as before, without change. Stick to is similar to stick with. L don't like computers. I'll stick with writing letters by hand. What is the meaning of the verb cut out? When a motor suddenly stops working, it cuts out. This plane has only one engine, so if it cuts out, we're in big trouble. What is the meaning of the verb get by? When you get by or get by something, you pass something or someone while you are. Walking or driving even though it may be difficult because there is not enough room. Can you move all that junk in the hallway please? It's hard for people to get by. What is the meaning of the verb look around? When you look around or look around a place.
You go to various parts of the place in order to see what it is like or what is there. Linda looked around the bookstore but didn't find anything interesting. What is the meaning of the verb work up, to? When you gradually improve at something difficult that you do regularly, you work up to that improvement. When I started running, I couldn't go more than a mile, but now I've worked up to five miles. What is the meaning of the verb plug up? When people or things block a narrow passage, such as a pipe, drain. or hole, so that nothing can flow through it, they plug it up. Don't pour bacon grease in the sink, it'll plug up the drain. What is the meaning of the verb run over, to? When you run from where you are to where someone else is, you run over or run over to that person. I saw a man hitting a child, and I ran over and stopped him. What is the meaning of the verb cheat on? When you cheat on your sexual partner, you have sex or a romantic relationship with another person. Sarah filed for divorce after she caught George cheating on her. Can you believe it? What is the meaning of the verb knock off? When you knock something off, you either accidentally or deliberately use.
force to make it fall from a place above the ground to the ground below. Susie knocked a glass off the table and broke it. What is the meaning of the verb stick with? When you stick with something that you use, you continue to use it. My mother has stuck with ivory soap for 40 years. What is the meaning of the verb shut off? When you shut off an electrical or mechanical device. You cut the power going to it so that it stops operating. Turn off and switch off are similar to shut off. I'm freezing. Would you mind shutting the air conditioner off? What is the meaning of the verb end up? When people or things end up in a place. This place is where their journey ends even though the outcome may have been unplanned or unexpected. How did London Bridge end up in Arizona? What is the meaning of the verb hold against? When you hold things against people. You continue to blame them for something and continue to be upset about it. Jane tossed her job because of a mistake Bob made, but she doesn't hold it against him. What is the meaning of the verb take in?
When you take in a play, movie, museum, or other attraction, you go to it or see it. After dinner we took in a movie. What is the meaning of the verb grow up? When you grow up, you gradually change from a child to an adult. I grew up on a small farm in North Dakota. What is the meaning of the verb put off? When you put off something or put off doing something, you delay or postpone it. When you put people off, you delay doing something they want you to do. Buying a new house will have to be put off until we can afford it. What is the meaning of the verb get out, of? When you get dirt or a stain out or get dirt or a stain out of a material, you remove it by cleaning. Do you think bleach will get this wine stain out of my white blouse? What is the meaning of the verb throw away? When you throw away something important or valuable, you foolishly do something that causes you to lose it. When I got mad and quit my job, I threw away a chance to become vice president of the company. What is the meaning of the verb settle down? When a confused or violent situation becomes less confused or violent, it settles down. When you settle a confused or violent situation down, 
you make it less confused or violent and more calm. Calm down is similar to settle down. Rioting and arson continued for three days before the area settled down. What is the meaning of the verb knock out? When soldiers knock out a piece of the enemy's equipment. They destroy it or damage it enough so that it no longer operates. The enemy radar installation was knocked out by a 500 pound bomb. What is the meaning of the verb catch on? When a fashion or habit becomes popular and is adopted by many people, it catches on. When a product or service becomes popular and is used or bought by many people, it catches on. If his striped business suits catch on, the designer will become famous. What is the meaning of the verb turn out usually followed by to be plus an adjective? An infinitive verb plus a noun, or a complete sentence. When things or people turn out to be a certain way, it is discovered or considered that they are that way. When things or people turn out to be something, it is discovered or considered that they are that thing. When you say that it turns out, that, or turned out, that, and then make a statement of fact. You mean that this information, which is contrary to what you believed or expected, was discovered to be true. I thought Sam bought a Mercedes-Benz, 
but it turned out that he bought a BMW. What is the meaning of the verb sell out, of, often passive? When a store sells out of something or is sold out of something, it sells all of it. I wanted to buy that new computer game, but every store I went to was sold out of it. What is the meaning of the verb head toward? When you head toward a certain location, you move toward it. When you say that you are headed toward or are heading toward a certain location. You mean that you are planning to go there or that you are going there but have interrupted your journey and will resume it. Head for is the same as head toward. The escaped convicts must have headed toward Mexico. What is the meaning of the verb pay off? When you pay off money that you owe or pay off the person you owe the money to. You pay all the money that you owe. It took 10 years, but I finally paid off my school loan. What is the meaning of the verb get to informal? When you get to doing something, you begin toto it gradually. After seeing all those strange lights in the sky, I got to wondering if maybe UFOs really exist after all. What is the meaning of the verb turn in? When you go to bed, you turn in.
It's getting late, I'm turning in. What is the meaning of the verb go down, to? When you move to a lower level or position or from north to south, you go down or go down to that place. Go up is the opposite of go down. Going down the mountain was a lot easier than going up. What is the meaning of the verb blow up? When something blows up or when someone blows something up, it explodes. Seven people were killed when the building blew up. What is the meaning of the verb go after? When a business tries to increase its profits by trying to increase. Its market share or its number of customers, it goes after them. The CEO said he wanted to go after new customers in China. What is the meaning of the verb hang around informal? When you hang around or hang around doing something. You stay in a place without a purpose for being there or because you are waiting for someone or something. I had to hang around for three hours waiting for the bus. What is the meaning of the verb get over? When something happens that surprises you or makes you angry. And you cannot stop thinking about it. You cannot get over it.
the coach couldn't get over losing the state championship 47-0. What is the meaning of the verb break up? When a gathering of people separates, it breaks up. When the police tell people who are gathered together in a crowd to separate and leave the area. The police break the gathering up. The meeting should break up around 3 o'clock. What is the meaning of the verb screw up informal? When you damage something or do something wrong or badly, you screw up or you screw up what you are doing. Mark sent his wife a letter that he wrote to his girlfriend. He sure screwed up. What is the meaning of the verb blow up? When you make a picture or photograph larger, you blow it up. I blew the photograph up and framed it. What is the meaning of the verb go over? When you carefully read or review important written material, you go over it. Here's a magazine article I just finished writing. Go over it and tell me what you think. What is the meaning of the verb call back? When you call someone back, you call a person on the telephone who has called you earlier.
Janice left a message asking me to call her back. What is the meaning of the verb track down? When you find things or people after looking very hard for them, you track them down. I finally tracked down that book I've been looking for. What is the meaning of the verb hurry up? When you hurry up, you do something quickly. Nicole has to hurry up if she's going to finish her work before 5 o'clock. What is the meaning of the verb fill in? When people want or need more information about a plan, situation. or occurrence and you supply that information, you fill them in. I fell asleep during the meeting. Can you fill me in? What is the meaning of the verb put away informal? When you consume large quantities of food or drink, especially alcoholic drink, you put it away. I don't feel well. I put away four hot dogs and a bag of cookies. What is the meaning of the verb pick up? When you pick something up in a store, you quickly go into a store to buy something you need. Could you pick a loaf of bread up on your way over?
What is the meaning of the verb put to? When you confront people with a difficult or thought-provoking question. Accusation, or proposition, you put it to them. When Prof. Klein put his theory to me like that, I realized what he was talking about. What is the meaning of the verb stick up? When you put something, such as a picture, sign. Or notice, in a place where people can see it, you stick it up. Sam stuck a notice up about his lost dog. What is the meaning of the verb warm up? When people or things cause a thing or place to become warmer, they warm it up. That soup is cold. You can warm it up in the microwave. What is the meaning of the verb back up? When you walk backward, you back up. When you drive a vehicle in reverse, you back up or back the vehicle up. I put the car in reverse and backed it up. <laughs>